bit of a change of pace for this week. Uh, I've been going through my photo archives. Uh, I'm sorting through all of my images, looking for ones that are in focus and ones that are have a good composition. Uh, everything else I, I'm just getting rid of sort of thing. And there's a lot of images that I never processed before, before because I didn't have the skills or the idea on how to bring them to life. As I was working through the, my photo archives this week, I was editing some pictures on St. Patrick's Day, which was Wednesday. And ironically, I didn't realize at the time, I was actually editing St. Patrick's Day parade photos on St. Patrick's Day. So as a bit of a distraction for this week, I thought you might like to see a St. Patrick's Day parade from 2014. This is going to be a bit of a picture book style video because I wasn't videoing at the time. So it's all just stills and they rattle through until there are images that I thought stood out for composition or um, because they have an interesting face or because it's in focus. <laughs> and uh, it's just a bit of fun and it makes for a nice change for what is going on at the moment. And it gives us something to look forward to for when things return to normality, hopefully next year. I hope you enjoy these images and the music and I'll get back to you at the end. Sure. 
I took all of those images as a memory. I didn't take them to for, photo for photography like I would now. I was, I was taking them so that I would remember the parade because it was a fantastic experience and it was one that I hadn't had before. But because I have learnt new editing skills in the past few years, I was able to bring them to life. And because I've developed as a photographer and advanced my outlook on photography and what I want to produce, I was able to appreciate those images a lot more than I did back then. So that's my biggest tip. I hope you take this one to heart is to always go back through your images. Keep everything that is in focus and has a good composition and try and breathe a new life into it when you've developed new and interesting skills because you never know what you'll be able to create at the end of the day. That's the great thing about digital photography and with raw files in particular. We can always go back and recreate them in a different way. Next year I might return to those images and decide to do a black and white series. The year after I might return to those and do a completely different editing style. And th the fact that we have that ability to, to re-edit pictures digitally means that we can constantly recreate and I think that is one amazing thing about photography. I hope you've enjoyed the distraction. Next week I have been out filming already for this. Uh, I'm, I'm working on my street photography project which I spoke about a few weeks ago. So I've been out, I've been taking photographs on the street and I've got a neat solution to some of the problems that I was having the first time around in which I will put a so this side, this side, I'll put a card up um, to that uh, video if you would like to watch that too. If you've liked seeing St. Paddy's Day Parade in Dublin, give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see what's coming up next week and in the coming weeks, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. It is really greatly appreciated. In the meantime, thanks for watching and I'll see you next week. We are dreamers of the